Well, let's see, I was hatched out here in 1922. I'm fourth generation. It was handed down from originality. Nobody bought it. What are they? He uh, was on the right side of the um, Civil War, or he was a good fighter in the Civil War, I don't know. But when he came out here, they said you can have 160 acres. Through the years, it's dwindled down to a little over, a little over 80 now. That's the original house. Well, that was built in about 18, 1890s. In the old days, you know, you didn't have the equipment to flatten it all out the way you do now. So that's one reason for the dairy. You could have livestock on it instead of beans. And yeah. So we had little patches of here and there mm -hmm. of uh, row crops. Had to get up before breakfast, go get the cows, run them in here, juice them, clean out the barn, sometimes wash all the utensils and go to school. A lot of times late and come back, do it all over again. And that went on ever since I was about the first, in the first grade, I guess, until the war started. But we're trying to make that North 40 out there into a, a full-scale wildlife habitat. They have all kinds of wildlife down there, mostly birds, mud hens, geese, wild dogs, whatever, hundreds of them. It's been handed down so many generations, and I didn't want to be the first to knock it off. I could sell it right now, you know, and that'd be the end of the line. I can't do that. And that's about all I can tell you. I'm yeah. still on top. I'm still here.